My name is uh, Liam Vogel, and I'm the gallery director here at the Walco River School of Art. I'm also a professional artist and teacher here in the Hudson Valley. I've been with the Walco River School almost 11 years now, um, and I've been uh, actively working with them uh, as an employee for the past seven years. I was probably um, 12 or 13. Um, I certainly wasn't, you know, the kind of kid that was drawing all the time. I always had an interest in art, uh, but when I was uh, 12 or so, I got really interested in the idea of, of getting better at drawing. And that was what really led me here. I, I really wanted to try and improve my drawing ability and felt like, you know, the art classes I was taking in school weren't necessarily doing that for me. We weren't in this location at the time, but I had seen in town there was an art school and I decided to take some drawing classes there. Uh, and that, that really solidified to me, you know, that I wanted to be an artist after that experience. I enjoyed it so much, and you know, after those first couple classes, I decided that was what I really wanted to do. One of the most important things uh, art has, has done for me is, is been able to provide me with uh, you know, a, a tangible, physical thing that, that's a representational of, of my time, my energy, and my passion. Um, when I was, you know, when I was younger, I was like a lot of kids in, in this area. I got into a, a lot of trouble and, and you know, had a, a tough time. And uh, art really gave me something that, that allowed me to uh, put my energy into something where I was getting this physical, tangible result that I was proud of, that I could show to people and, and would make them happy, would make me happy. And just that, that ability um, to spread that kind of positivity and have that kind of satisfaction with something you've created. Was, was incredibly helpful to me um, because I was, you know, especially when I was younger, I was investing a lot of time into, into things that weren't productive for me, um, whether that be getting into trouble or, or uh, drugs or anything like that. It, it, this has provided kind of a, a really positive and, and healthy uh, outlet and, and has uh, definitely transformed my life. The, the Walker River School as a whole, I think, for a lot of our artists and a lot of our interns, it's, it's a very serene place. So, you know, if you have someone that is in a, in a home situation that is, is chaotic or in, in a lifestyle that's chaotic, the, the Walker River School can be this, this place of serenity where you can focus on what you're passionate about in a very relaxed and very supportive environment. So, you know, right now our, our gallery for the last um, five years or so, has been very community focused. You know, we work with a lot of artists in the community. Um, but, you know, our, our hope is really to expand to get more international artists. This year, 2019, we've been able to, to work with some phenomenal artists from outside of our community. Uh, and that's really where we want to move to, you know, moving forward. Getting artists, international artists, to come and do workshops with us, do exhibits with us. Um, not only to, you know, raise the bar in terms of our quality here at the gallery, but to to show people that you know we are in, in a very important place, a very impactful place for the arts community. Besides, you know, our, our exhibits, the fine art side of things, we, we would really like to be able to expand our programs, uh, to be able to do more within the community. A, a large majority of our classes are taught here at the gallery, and we do teach some outside of the gallery. But we'd really like to to get alternative spaces to teach. Um, you know, by, by teaching here in the gallery, we're very limited by the amount of size. And even if we purchase the building, that size won't change. So that is another area we want to evolve. Um, and then I, I think, you know, the, the third and, and one of the most important areas to us is professional development. Making sure that we're providing professional resources to the artists and the teachers in our community. It's something we do right now, but we really want to be able to do more to make sure that not only for the established artists, but the younger artists and the kids in the, in the area who want to become artists have a platform to learn how to make a, f a financial income through their art, through their work, through their teaching. We teach uh, all ranges of art classes. So I would say, you know, our youngest is four to six, uh, basic art classes for small children. We go through all of the, the uh, child and adolescent age ranges, all the way up to adults. Um, Throughout the year, we do probably mostly adult classes for uh, beginners all the way through to advanced and all of the, the primary painting mediums, uh, we do drawing classes. And then, uh, like I said, during the summer, we do uh, very intensive kids' classes. Uh, but I would say we, we hit 
every age range in, in terms of the, the types of students that we work with and the skill levels that they're at. So when I first started with the, the organization, um, before we were you know, in this building here, uh, it was just an artist's cooperative. It was just an organization with the purpose of bringing artists together. Uh, you know, that, that moved into classes, uh, the, the organization offering classes, not just to other artists, but to people in the community. And uh, from there, uh, we really wanted to try and become a fine art gallery. So I, I would say that it's been the biggest shift going from you know, a small cooperative into a, a real fine art gallery. In 2016, we initiated a capital campaign. The, the real intention with this was to secure our, our place here in the community by purchasing this building. Um, you know, the, the contractors that originally restored the building, the Devitt family, they have been wonderful to work with. And, you know, we, we love working with them, but being able to purchase the building would, would allow us to do quite a bit more. So uh, we, we initiate, initiated a capital campaign, reached out to our patrons, our members, and over the last couple of years have been amassing funds to, to buy the building. Um, at this point, we're, we're very happy with where it's at. We've you know, got a little over 100,000 raised, uh, and you know, 250,000 is really what we were hoping for before we, we really settled on, on the mortgage. But we're kind of entering the, the final phase of the campaign at this point, which is something that's very exciting for us. Uh, not only will it allow us to, to really cement our, our place here, but you know, the, the building itself has uh, tenants, and there's a music school across the street, so we'll be purchasing that as well, which will generate uh, rental income for us, which is you know, hugely impactful for a nonprofit like this. On a typical day when I'm working for the gallery, uh, focusing on the exhibits, there's certain things, certain responsibilities that need to be taken care of. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll First of all, I guess I'll kind of go through some of those responsibilities. Um, you know, for every exhibit, we, we have to make sure that we have a press release that goes out to our local publications. We have to make sure that we have uh, all of our artists' information, the paintings, the titles, the prices, all of that. So compiling all of that information. And then most importantly, we have to make sure all of the, uh, the artwork is here and present. Um, so you know, on a hanging day, when I, I come in, you know, I'll turn on the lights, set up the gallery, make sure everything is, is presentable. Um, if there's classes going on, I'll make sure they have everything that they need. Um, I will you know, start by putting together a spreadsheet of all of the paintings that are going to be in that exhibit, their prices, their dimensions, all of the information around them. And then I'll start getting together the paintings, so pulling all of the work out of storage. Uh, right now we have an exhibit called Brilliant Birds, so I'll kind of use that as an example. Um, you know, so I'll go through and, and pull out all the bird-themed artworks that I that I have in our storage, everything that's supposed to be in the exhibit, and then I start laying it out, leaning it up against the walls where it needs to be hung. And then I'll take a couple hours uh, to, to go through our hanging system and make sure all of the hooks and lights are, are placed appropriately, and then uh, just spend a good amount of time hanging the paintings.